I got into photography through this one camera that my wife had gotten when she was in high school. And that camera sat on our shelf for a, a long time. And every time I would see it, just the look of it and the idea that you had to know what you were doing to get any results out of it. Because I had been shooting with a digital camera for a while and a lot of the results not being what I wanted. So um, I just finally grabbed that camera then I just asked my wife, like, okay, how do you use this? Like, what did you do? And it's just kind of, much like anything I get into, it's just been kind of full on. <laughs> Once I get the product done, whether it's an image or whether I'm working on a song or even if it's skating, you're chomping at the bit to do it again. You don't just rest on the product and be like, cool, I'm done. You want to hop right back in it. You want to start the process over again, you know? I'm more creative when I can physically grab things, you know, from playing guitar or skateboarding. You're not just going to learn these things overnight. The learning curve is steep, if you will. So for me, what I really appreciate with the darkroom process, the process is so enjoyable to me. When I'm in a darkroom and I'm looking at materials, it inspires ideas. tough in a computer for me to get inspired about possibilities because it feels like it's hidden within the monitor, it's hidden within these programs. My good friend Tommy Guerrero, who I play music with, he got asked to play the Treasure Island Music Festival, which is in Northern California. Um, and because we played this festival, I had full access, so I could kind of be wherever I wanted. Um, and so while Grizzly Bear was playing, I was shooting them, and then I just kind of got bored with realizing that I'm shooting the same shot that 14 other photographers right next to me are getting. I started turning around and getting more excited about the crowd, and they're looking at the band. So to capture that many faces without them really looking at me, a rare image, if you will, you know, so that's just one of the frames for me shooting the crowd that I dug. Mm -hmm.